I have cut out the squirrels from the pre-felt we made earlier and I'm going to put the tail on squirrel G. So I'm just going to put this tail underneath, give it a few pokes on this side and then I will turn it over and poke it again on this side and I'm going to now place it in the tree. Badgers. I have cut out the body of Badger D and E from the grey marl that we made earlier and I've also cut out the head from the white pre-felt. I'm now going to poke it just gently a few times to keep it in place and then I will turn it over and do exactly the same on this side. And then the, the same with Badger E. A few pokes, keeps it in place, turn over and poke again. Hair A. I've used the template to cut out all the elements and I've also pulled off a tiny bit of white pre-felt which I am going to just give it a few pokes in place. Then I will place the head and again give it a few pokes, not too many, just to hold it in place. Then one of the forelegs, just to stop it falling off. Then I will turn it upside down and place the other foreleg behind and the ears. pokes then very carefully lift it up and you might have to do a few adjustments bring that leg in for instance hair B I have added a little bit more white pre-felt to the throat, it's completely optional. Then poke the head in place, turn over and put the ears in place. The same with hair C, put the head in place, turn over and put the ears in place. Hedgehogs. Using the template, I've cut out the flesh colour first and then I will place the grey mole on top and poke into place. And you do exactly the same with the smaller hedgehog. And again, turn it over and secure from both sides. The only different one is Hedgehog H, where you put the face on top of the grey mile and then poke into place. And again, turn over and repeat. I've placed the badgers in place and I've tucked Badger E behind the trunk of the tree. I've also placed the family of hares and the hedgehogs. Don't make sure they're not too close together because as the whole thing shrinks, you might find them too tight to each other. And last of all, if you want to add a little bit of extra grass, you can do so. And if you've got a little bit of blossom left over, you might be able to sprinkle, sprinkle that around as well.
I've got everything in place and now I'm going to sprinkle it with soapy water. I Be very careful at first because things will move. Take your time over it. Don't worry too much about the edges because when we pat it down the edges will get, the water will work its way through to the edges. I've saturated my picture and Unfortunately, one of my hedgehogs has flipped, so I find um, a chopstick really useful. You can just pop it into place, and if there's any other micro adjustments you need to make, then that can be done. Then we can put the thin plastic on top. This is really important, this part, and then press down gently, and we're going to do this for 15 minutes at least keeping if you can keep it nice and warm as well so I suggest you time yourself 15 minutes I've been patting for over 15 minutes now with big wide hands I'm now going to start the rubbing stage so I'm going to move it round because I want to work with the, the direction of the fibres and I'm going to place the soapy water on top as I did before and I'm going to rub in this direction for two minutes like that and then after two minutes, I'm going to turn the whole thing round again and do two minutes on this side here. I am then going to do two minutes like this along here. And then lastly, two minutes in this direction like this. Then we can test it when you've done that and we're kind of looking to see that everything's holding together. I've done my eight minutes rubbing and I'm going to have a look at it. The, the middle normally would be nice and firm at this point. If it's not, you'll just have to do a bit more rubbing, maybe a, a minute in each direction. Um, but the corners are a little bit spongy and soft. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rub quite hard on all the edges. And when I've done that, I can turn it over and really work very hard on the other side. I'm happy with the picture now. I've done some extra rubbing, especially around the edges and the corners. I am now going to rinse it out in a bowl of cool water and squeeze out the excess water. You can roll it in a towel and then place it somewhere to dry. And then I will iron the, the back of it on a wall setting and then I can show you when it's dry how to finish the picture. I've finished my picture and it's dry and I've ironed it from the back and as you can see from these other samples they're all very slightly different so I'm now going to show you how to put definition on your picture and the eyes with the foam and needle. I'm going to start by defining the shapes of the animals with the felting needle. You need to have the foam underneath and you need to be quite gentle. Just gently poke the edges to try and get the 
fibres back where you want them to be. If you'd like, it's optional, take a little bit of the rust fibre and then you can add a little pour here. And also I've just, with the felting needle, created a little dimple here where we will put an eye. I'll show you eyes later. I've done exactly the same to the other squirrel and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a little bit extra of the curly fleece just to make it look like the squirrels behind some of the leaves. I've defined the edges of the, this badger here and I'm now going to get a very small amount of the black and place it around the nose and poke it in very gently. You might have to do this more than once and make a, a kind of soft arc with it. Don't worry, we can always trim off those at these taily bits there. So that's about the right shape. And then you can repeat that round the other side like I did over here. And very, very small amounts. I've prepared the black and now I'm going to put a nose in place. So I've just balled up a tiny bit of the black in my fingers. You don't need very much. And again, I'm going to poke it into place. And with the white, I've just pulled a tiny bit off. You really need very little and I can create an ear in between the black and you can do this more than once if you need more white or more black just keep on and I'll put a tiny ear on this side of your badger there as well. I've done exactly the same on this badger here Use your instructions for guidance where you put your black and the ears. And also I have, and it's optional, added a little bit of black and brown to these feet. And you can do the same to this one's foot as well. Use your instructions for guidance. I've tidied up the edges of all the hairs. And I've also added little tails and I've done a little indent so we can do the eyes in place. And this hair here, I have defined the legs by repeatedly doing very gentle little pokes to create a shape here, slight shadow. This hair here has two eyes and I do have a template that helps you place them. I've balled up a really tiny amount of the dark brown and I've also made the little dimples in place. And I'm just going to pick one up, poke it repeatedly. And the beauty of felt is that if you don't like the eye, you feel it's too big or something, just pull it out. So I think that one was okay. So it's easy to correct any mistakes that you feel you've made. Just keep on shaping them until you're happy. I've tidied up the hedgehogs. You don't want to tidy the grey mould too much because they are meant to be spiky. I've also given them eyes and then if you like you could give them a nose. I've balled up a tiny bit of the fibres we used for the 
trees, the little trees, so it's not quite as dark as the eyes. And you can give your hedgehogs noses. I'm happy with my picture now. Uh, there's just one or two things I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of this curly green in place here and there. You don't want to overdo it and I'll poke that in with my needle. And all I want to say is thank you for watching this tutorial and I hope you've enjoyed it. Congratulations on completing your art felt woodland animal picture. I do hope you enjoyed the process and you like your picture. I certainly enjoyed creating it for you. If you'd like, I do have other kits available on my website and they're just as lovely. www.artfelt.com dot co dot uk. Bye.